Welcome to this ANIF tutorial video. Here we focus on Docker-based installation of ANIF. This approach is recommended for those already familiar with Docker. The tutorial page has step-by-step -step instructions. You can also read more from the ANIF wiki. There are a few things to consider with this approach. First, Docker needs enough memory. You can allocate more from the Advanced tab in the settings. You also need to be able to share a folder with Docker for the most seamless experience. This requires administrator access, however, and as that might not be possible to obtain, there is an alternative approach you can follow. Installing ANIF via Docker on Linux or Mac is as simple as running one of those commands here. On Windows, the command looks like this. Now, on Windows, especially since on Windows you might not be able to share a folder with Docker, there's this alternative approach you can use by running this slightly different command followed by this command then running another terminal window. This is what installing ANIF via Docker looks like on Windows PowerShell. You can see we run this command here, and it's the modified one because we are on Windows and we are using the alternative approach. After you run this command and it finishes, the command prompt changes to something like this, and you should be good to go. Not that I said something like this, not perhaps exactly like this, but something like this. Now on Windows, while doing the alternative approach, as we're doing here, the next step is to navigate to the ANIF tutorial folder via the cd command, and then run this command here. as we are using the named volumes. You can then go back to the original command prompt and check using the ls command that you can see the datasets folder correctly where it should be. And after this you should be good to go. You have installed ANIF via Docker and you can start doing the exercises. Thank you for watching.